Hey, I'm getting a ton of questions about, Cody, how do top producing insurance agents structure their day? My question for you is, how do you structure your day, all right? I'm gonna share with you not only, not only my morning routine that I do every single day, okay? I'm also gonna talk to you about how top agents are structuring their schedule in their day, okay? And then I'm gonna also talk about how you can start to maximize time every single day because I can tell you, okay, the moment you start to squeeze everything out of your day, you will be more successful because time is the most valuable asset we have, right? In your life, you're the most valuable asset you have. However, to you, your time is the most valuable asset you have, okay? So you gotta quit giving it away, you gotta quit ignoring it, you gotta quit getting complacent and letting it lose steam, okay? So morning routine, all right? I do what's called a daily power five every single day, all right? For those that don't know what that is, okay? I've talked about this a lot. I am getting up at 6 a.m. at the absolute latest, right? Once I get up, okay, I'm getting a good workout in because I'm getting my energy up. Your energy matters, right? The reason why is you're selling conviction, you're selling passion, you're selling your energy, you're selling a relationship with your client. You're not really selling insurance per se, right? Like people buy people they like, trust, know, et cetera. It's all about the relationship piece. Relationship is key, okay? After getting energy up, then I'm writing down my goals every single morning, right? Like today, I wrote down six different goals today. And they're massive, think by the way. They're like, I'm gonna do 10 million a month. We do a million every 30 days. Uh, I wanna acquire 100 insurance agencies. I want 10,000 10, agents at the conference one day. I wanna own a beach house and a jet. Like all this, all the stuff I'm writing down because I'm telling myself, like this is going to happen, right? Like how you talk to yourself matters. Also, how you pre-program your subconscious mind on what you're gonna do in life, it matters, man. So the question is, are you writing down your goals? Also, okay, even after that, is I am learning or listening to something every single morning to kick off my day. Books, audiobooks, YouTube videos. I gotta soak it in. Your mind is the most accepting to new information and, and most it'll remember it the best early in the morning, right? So I'm doing that on the way to work or when I'm working out or just in just literally for a few minutes before I get out of bed. Like that's important. Okay. And then I'm finishing with a, every shower with a cold shower. Like lately, I've literally been getting under ice cold water as cold as it can go, and I've just been literally, literally, okay, hitting my chest saying, you know what? I never quit, I never get tired, I never quit, I never get tired, and I'm literally staying in the cold shower talking to myself until, okay, and most of you guys are gonna think I'm freaking weird now, until my, literally I get a brain freeze, I'm like frozen, and then I'm like, I'm done. And then I walk out. Why? Because I need to be alive. I need to be awake. I need to be prepped. I need to have my best days ever. Okay. So how you start your day matters. Successful people have morning routines. You study the Bill Gates, the Elon Musks, like the most, the, 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 the most popular, the Brian Tracy's, the Les Browns, like the most successful people on the planet. Okay. They have a morning routine. What is yours? You got to get it down. This is mine and it works well. Okay. It works really well. Okay. Also, Okay, if we're gonna continue, and we're gonna talk about what top agents are doing every single day throughout their day to be more successful, okay? Now they're kicking off their, their day the same way, like we just talked about, every single day, right? It's consistent, every single day. They're also, okay, they're also doing non-revenue generating activities outside of work hours by the way, outside of work hours. Because literally most of you are like, dude, between nine and five, guess what you need to be doing? You need to be selling. Your job as a salesperson is to sell, to sell clients, to help people, to drive revenue. True or false, right? True or true, because it's true. You have to be driving revenue, right? If, a lot of people are like, dude, I wanna check Facebook. I wanna check emails. I wanna go to lunch. I wanna get coffee, right? I wanna check my voicemails. I wanna do a bunch of texting you know, whatever, right? I want to post on social. Um, I want to meet with my team. And they do all this during the day. Like, no, no, I'm telling my team, like, dude, do not bother me during these hours. If it's on my schedule, we'll do it. Otherwise, I need to be promoting and selling, right? Because what you do and what you got to focus on are literally promoting and selling. Everything that you do to drive revenue should fall back into these two categories. For me, Okay, and I'm gonna to get to how to maximize time in a second where I'm gonna actually share with you my top three things I do every single day. Okay, so during these activities, during these times, 
you need to be driving revenue. Your job is to drive money during these times, okay? So what are you doing? And then at the end of every night, you need to be thinking about the next day, right? You need to be prioritizing, creating to-do list, thinking about your next day so that you stop going into a day, well, it's 7.45, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eight o'clock, I'm gonna wake up, um, let me get dressed, let me stroll in the office at nine o'clock, let me, let me get my coffee, let me check my Facebook, let me relax, don't bother me yet, it's, I'm not awake, I, I'm not a morning person, right? And before you notice, like, dude, you haven't got anything done, right? So, start your day off the same way, okay? Do revenue generating activities during time. Non-revenue do it, non-revenue generating activities do an outside of work. Like I'm checking emails, all this other stuff, like before and after work, during lunch, etc. Okay, now if we want to max, maximize time, top agents are also typically doing new prospecting between 9 and 11 a.m. Right? Those two hours in the morning, they are reaching out. And they are trying to gather what's called, what coach calls new money, right? Like you need to go find new money. You need to find clients. You need to find new people, okay? You've got to be doing prospecting, outbound prospecting every day. That, or you've got to fill the pipeline with so much inbound prospecting that you don't have to outbound. But the thing is, though, the, 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 the top agents, the top producing people, okay, they are getting out and they are attacking. They're conquering. They're not on the defensive. They're on the offensive, right? Like, are you on the offensive? Or do you feel like, dude, I, I'm on the defensive. I'm all, the, the day is attacking me instead of me attacking the day. Now, there's three things that I do every single day to start my day. Okay, three, three things. Outside of these power five, I'm thinking about, here's the three things I'm going to do every single day. Okay, number one is promoting. Right? Promote, promote, promote. Attention is the currency of 2021. You want to get attention. You want to help people. You want to blow up your brand. Right? Promote first. How often are you on social? In a promotional standpoint, in a business standpoint, right? How often are you building relationships? Which brings my second point, okay? Which is my job is to network and build relationships with some of the top people in the industry because I have the ability to do stuff with top people in the industry, right? The conference, um, our new training platform we're going to come out with with other coaches and trainers and experts, right? Like I have the ability to help people that want to get to the next level. And I need to be building relationships with those people. If I said, would it help you to build a relationship with the mayor of your city? What would you say? Most would say it probably would help me in some way, right? Because he may introduce me to people. Hey, I may get into parties that nobody gets access to with a bunch of these wealthy people. Okay, but if that's true, how many people would know the mayor, right? Like the ex-mayor just literally took a tour of our buildings last week. Why? Because they're hearing about the stuff that we're doing locally. Are people hearing about things they're doing locally? I tell, I told, I told my wife when the mayor was walking around, I'm like, dude, I'm going to tell him I'm owning the city of Springfield one day. Why? Because I need to be thinking a lot bigger and freaking promoting because it ties back to promotion. Okay. And then third is selling. I got to be ringing the cash register, even though we don't have a physical cash register. Why? Because at the end of the day, I need to be driving revenue for my company. Okay. Everyone also what top producing agents do. Okay. They build a business that generates cash and then they invest that cash either back into the business Okay, either back into the business or into income producing properties and activities. Okay, so the question is, do you, what, what, you have a business, are you generating cash? Okay, it's one thing, like everybody wants to start a business. Everybody thinks about starting a business. 4% of businesses in the country, literally 4%, okay, 4% earn seven figures a year. And what's crazy, most people, like, like uh, on, uh, on Discovery, they got a show called Turnaround King with the undercover billionaire Glenn Stearns. The Turnaround King is on TV because it talks about how literally, I think like 76% of businesses have less than 28 days of cash flow available, which means if something goes sideways, 28 days later, they're out of business. That's a problem. Most businesses fail and that's the reason. You have to be focused on getting up, being your best self, driving revenue, driving cash. Okay, your morning routine matters. If top producing people are prospecting, you should be prospecting, okay? And then you gotta maximize your time by focusing on the stuff you need to be doing and delegating the rest, okay? So you wanna be a top producer? Now you have no excuses. Hey, if you love this video, you're gonna love, okay? I got behind the scenes with Jordan Belfort at our conference about how he can help new agents and what he would do if he was you. Check that video out. You have to get them 
into the habit of dialing or out. It's got to be top of the funnel. People are scared to dial the phone, scared to go to the